Welcome back Toy Fans to episode 216 of Ronald's Reviews and on today's episode we're going to take a look at a giant insect. Give me the match. Welcome back everyone. Now like I said in the intro today we are going to take a look at a giant insect. Now if you follow me and you follow the channel closely you will know that a few months ago last year uh, I was sent a very very generous gift box by a very dedicated subscriber and viewer in Wesley Hendricks. Now in that gift box, amongst lots of vintage goodies, there was something that I've been trying to add to my collection for quite some time. But that something needed some work. Now one line I am hugely fond of is sectors. And there was something in there that I wanted in my collection for quite a while, hadn't managed to do it, and then Wesley very generously sent me it. Now it needed some work, but it is finally restored, thanks to my good friend VTR Dave, and on display in the Reynolds Reviews base. So today, we're gonna to take a closer look. So let's get to it. Battle of the Sectors begins. Heroic Dargon, leader of the forces of good, is ambushed by evil Sectors. With the help of his loyal insectoid Dragonflyer, he fights them off. But they're just bait for the real trap. A far more treacherous enemy is waiting. The evil General Spytrax. Will Heroic Dargon be caught in his web? Watch the next episode of Sectors by Coleco. And there we go folks, so today we are taking a look at Coleco's Sectors, or more specifically Prince Dargon and Dragonfly. And now, like I said in the intro, uh, you'll remember that Wesley was very, very kind and sent me this in a gift box. So we'll take a look at the box first, and personally, I love the boxes, I really do. Now, I love that huge Sectors logo at the bottom, I think the colours on that are so vibrant, they look great. And this one, the colours have held up really well. On this box and then of course when we get to the side we've got a lovely image of prince dargon down the side there that is a pretty standard feature of most sector boxes he looks great as well but you'll recall that when i got this box it was in a little bit of a sorry state but that didn't bother me at all because if you follow the channel closely you'll know that i love a good box restoration but it was torn away at each side here and at that side as well so i've managed to reattach those but you'll also notice i've put some lovely nice new plastic on the front there it's really given the box some stability now so it stands lovely on its own unfortunately one side has got a flat missing that doesn't matter because where i display it i put it against a wall anyway so that side is against the wall so you can't see it but the box stands lovely now and like i said the colors have held up real well and it looks fantastic i absolutely love this box and then as you can see when we turn it to a side we've got two lovely images on this side of the box we've got prince dagon with dragonfly there and then we've got that typical 80s kid with that very attractive 80s haircut i'm pretty sure that's how my hair was when i was that age but a mainstay of 80s toy boxes with those 80s kids playing with the toys and i absolutely love it but what's even better about this box is the back and look at that folks i absolutely love the back of this box so as you can see we've got all the sectors across the back there every character on show we've even got down at the bottom corner there we've got the hive which i would love to get in my collection but you don't often see them in the uk and very expensive when you do often incomplete but i would love to get one of those but all detailed all the sectors on the back there and we've even got a map of symbian and symbian is the planet where the sectors inhabited and we've even got a key at the bottom there telling us every area of the planet but yeah absolutely love the back of this box so yeah, there we go, folks. Absolutely love the box. I'm sorry about the glare on the plastic, but like I say, we're going to be getting rid of the box in a second now. So we're going to get Dragonfly out the box and take a closer look, but we're going to start with Prince Dargon. Okay, folks, and here we have got Prince Dargon, the leader of the Sectors. Um, and I've got to admit, I think these figures look absolutely fantastic. I don't think I really appreciated them until maybe 18 months ago. I picked one up really cheap and I realised just how good they were. Uh, so back in the mid-80s when these were released, now they didn't do particularly well as a toy line. They had some stiff competition back then, but they were accompanied uh, by comic books. So we did get some comics from the Sectors back in the day, but it was also accompanied by a cartoon. And the premise of the cartoon was uh, there was a laboratory accident on the planet Symbion and it fused the DNA of the human beings and the insects and we got the sectors and I've got to admit like I say when I was a kid um, I did have a handful of these I don't think I appreciate them as an adult collector until about a year and a half ago I got a cheap Prince Dargon and then I started collecting them from there because I think these figures are beautiful I mean just look at this guy I just think the way they're sculpted they look so good the only downside for me is to say they're such um, sort of detailed figures they lack a little bit of articulation, so they have got groin articulation, knee articulation, neck and shoulder, but they're missing elbow articulation, which would really help them 
um, display and pose much better but I've got to say I still think they look beautiful so he comes with quite a few accessories so as you can see he's got a shield there he's got a sword he's got a belt where he has two pistols attached you can actually probably see that better if I spin him around that way so you can see he's got two handguns in there he does come with a rifle but that's more for dragonfly which we will get to a little bit later on but I do think these figures look fantastic. And what I love about the Sectors is, I don't know how well it's coming through on camera, but they're painted with this iridescent paint. And when the light hits it in a certain way, it sort of sparkles and you get like pinks and greens and blues. It looks absolutely beautiful in a certain light. But I just think the figures are really nice. They display fantastic on the shelf. I have got a few more to get. I've got all the figures. They're not all complete. And I do need a couple of the Insectoids, the ride on insects. Once I've got those, I will do a video showcasing my complete Sectors collection, but yeah, this guy's great. But we're not here to focus on Prince Dagon. We are here to focus on his Insectoid sidekick, which is Dragonfly. So let's go take a look. And there we have it, folks, in all his glory. There we've got Prince Dagon and we've got his loyal sidekick, Dragonfly. And look at that. Now that is absolutely amazing and something that i've been trying to get into my collection for a long long time and like i said wesley was very generous and sent me this guy um, and i absolutely love him and again he looks just so good with that very same iridescent paint i mean look at his face sculpt i think his face just looks amazing very very minimal paint wear on there and it's absolutely beautiful but what strikes me most about this toy is Look at the fur. The fur is in such good condition. It's not pulled, it's not matted, it's not stuck together. It looks like it's box fresh, man, and it's so realistic as well. It looks absolutely fantastic. And then, of course, you've got the wings. They're extremely delicate, so I'm not gonna handle this much on camera, folks. The wings are very delicate, as VTR Dave will attest. But look again, you've got all those beautiful iridescent colors in there. When the light hits it, you see that blue and green and pink, and it all comes through, and it is so good. Now, back in the day, when these were released they were released with a very very unique play feature so you can just see there look underneath dragonfly there is a black glove and essentially these are hand puppets so what you would have done back in the day is you would put your hand in this glove and your fingers then act as the legs of the insect and you can even control his mouth and open and close his mouth and it looks amazing now when this arrived with me unfortunately the one thing that it did need, it needed a little bit of restoration because one of the wings was broken, which Dave very kindly repaired for me, but also the motor didn't work and I couldn't get it working. And again, VTR Dave was very, very kind and fully restored this for me. Now, if you don't know VTR Dave, I'm sure you do, but check out his channel, amazing channel, Vintage Toy Rush, and specifically the video where he restored Dragonfly for me. I will leave a link in the description. Check that out, it's absolutely inspired. But what I'm gonna do, is I'm just going to try and lift this guy up. Now, I'm, like I said, it's very delicate and I'm not going to set it going for long, but I will show you the play feature. I'm not going to put the glove on. Um, you will see that at the end of the video, but I'm just going to set the wings going so you can see them, but I'm going to be very careful, folks. I'm trying to do it one-handed. Just bear with me. So if we just pick him up, and there we go. Look at that. Absolutely awesome. There we go. So yeah, absolutely love Dragonfly. And now, uh, back when these figures were released, most of the figures were released with a little sidekick, like a mini bug sidekick, but four figures did come with a giant insect toy to ride on. So Prince Dargon was one. He came with Dragonfly. We got Spydrax with Spiderfly. We also got Pinsaw with Battle Beetle, and we got Skulk with Tarantula. Now, uh, I am missing two of those, so hopefully I'll add those to my collection very soon, and then I will show my Sectors collection in its entirety. But look at this guy, it is absolutely beautiful. And like I said, at the end of the video, I will show you it in flight, but I'm trying to be very careful while moving him around on the table because he's so delicate and I don't want to break the wings, but look at the detail on him. He is absolutely awesome. And I'm so glad to get him into my collection. So thank you, Wesley, uh, for being so generous. I was absolutely blown away when I took this guy out of the box. Um, but yeah, really, really pleased. Sorry, I've not mentioned the fact that he does come with a rifle with Dragonflyer. And the one thing I am missing, actually, which again I forgot to mention, is the harness. Now, he does have a harness that goes over the seat. 
where the rifle actually sits in uh, that is one thing i'm missing now i've been on ebay trying to pick one up but most people on there have got the harness listed as dragonfly when it's actually spiderfly's harness and i can't find a dragonfly one yet they look very similar and it's an easy mistake to make but you'll notice on the uh, spydrax or on spiderfly's harness it's got a different emblem it's got an emblem for the bad guys and then on Dragonfly's uh, harness, it's the emblem for the sectors, for the good guys. I need to pick one of those up, but hopefully I'll get one of those very, very soon. Okay, so let's get everything back on the table and we'll wrap up. And there we go, folks. So everything back on the table. And all that's left to say again is a massive, massive thank you to Wesley Hendricks for sending me this beautiful Dragonfly, uh, as well as the box. Um, and there we go. You can see I've actually got two... Uh, Prince Diagonal. So I've got one that I keep set up on the shelf with all the other figures and then I display one on Dragonfly in the box on the shelf as well. So everything is looking very, very nice and I'm really pleased to have everything in my collection. Like I said, keep an eye on the channel. Once I've completed my Sectors collection, I will show it in its entirety. But for the time being, I hope you enjoyed Dragonfly. You know the drill by now, folks. If you're new to the channel, please consider leaving a like and subscribe. I really hope you do. It really does help the channel. But if you're one of my existing subscribers and existing viewers, thank you for sticking with me, everyone. I really do appreciate it. Leave any comments or questions in the comment section below. I always try to read everyone's comments and get back to everybody. And as always, keep collecting. And I'm going to play you out with Dragonfly in flight in all his glory. See you next time, folks.